In this study, we work to identify the individuals with HLHS even before they're born. Using a routine ultrasound, we are able to diagnose HLHS in utero after week 20 of a pregnancy. As parents begin to plan for a three-stage surgical repair of this congenital heart condition, the clinical team begins to prepare for the clinical study that could take place three months down the road. First, at the time of birth, the umbilical cord is cut and a needle is placed into the umbilical cord to allow the baby's blood to transfer to a special collection bag. As the infant is having the first heart surgery, the cord blood is processed in the laboratory by spinning the blood in a centrifuge. This spinning separates the umbilical cord blood just like the cells in the bone marrow clinical study. The mononuclear cells are concentrated and these cells are then frozen in small vials to be safely stored at very cold temperatures for future applications. The autologous cells, or cells from the same individual, are ready to be used at the second stage surgery around three months of age. The cells can be thawed and directly injected into the heart muscle. The injected cells release growth factors that act like fertilizer to jumpstart the heart muscle in order to grow bigger and stronger. The umbilical cord blood study aims to demonstrate that the baby's own cells can be safely used to preserve heart function in infants with HLHS.